Okay, y'all. Get my t-shirt up. Um, once I get started doing a project, I get started. Okay? Oh, look at this. Isn't that amazing? I was thinking when I took those little Velcro pieces out of that pink case, why would I need that many pens or pencils? And look, there's a back side too. There, I have plenty. In fact, that little container, that little pouch may turn into a project pouch. Now, I used to be organized back a hundred years ago, and I had project stuff. I had cleaning stuff. I had outside project stuff. I mean, it was unbelievable. You want to know how a woman can take up, I don't know, 15 hours a day of her time? That's how. <laughs> but, one thing I always do have, and that is Q-tips, toothpicks, among other things. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to go ahead and try to paint this guy. And he's going to be lighter than what I want. But we'll see how it works out. Okay, now then... I'm going to show y'all, I'm not going to um, do any eyes or beaks or anything until y'all give me suggestions. Okay, now, when you're going to hammer the lid back on a can of paint, y'all don't do what I've done before and start hammering on it with nothing to catch any little splashes. Now... I do one side, then the other, then the other, and the other. And that's usually enough, you guys. Okay, so there's that. Oh, whoop, sorry about that. And you know I always keep, look at that rag. That's clean, y'all. I have used it until there are holes in it. <laughs> I use it on the floor. I use it for just whatever I'm doing that is not cooking. So, a wet rag is another thing I always have. Some paper towels. So, um, let's get started. Now, I shook this really well. And then I let it sit. And that's because when I open this, I don't want it running everywhere and dripping and all that kind of stuff. So I let it settle down a little bit. So let's see here. Oh, of course, this would be one that has one of these little things on it. And I think I can use my can. Yeah, that happened really well. Okay, so now I've still got this paper towel and I'm going to need it, and you're going to see it in a minute. Why? Okay, this is going to come on. Now, I could be wearing some plastic, uh, you know, little rubber gloves, y'all, but I'm not doing that. The good thing, see how that came off right there? And I've got that film on there. So, right away, my toothpick has come in handy. Okay, there we go. Now, this is not a bad color, y'all. So, we're going to see how this works. <sighs> Had to blow off in case there was a little bit of dust. Now, I don't want to waste any paint. So, first, I'm going to get it off of here. And that's pretty light coat start down here on his belly where he's can y'all see that okay so I'm just gonna keep going and I'm gonna get his little 
cracks and crevices. Now this may be really boring to y'all because you saw me do the pink one, the little girl. The other one, if you haven't already seen it, you will see the yellow one. Um, I did that with spray paint. I did not have any um, sample paint to brush on. So I used my spray paint. And actually, it's probably easier to do that. But I love this too. Any kind of paint, y'all know that. I'm the queen of paint, especially spray paint, of course. This is going on really good with not quite a dry brush, but not gloppy at all. Now, if you had something that had deeper cracks and crevices, you could use one of those little artist paint brushes. What do you think, y'all? The difference in the colors. I do love the intense color, though. I really do. Okay. So, let's see. Has he had brain surgery? Oh, it's too late for him. Look at that. He's got all those little holes. I tell you what, that surgeon must have been drunk. Y'all ever worry about that? Like if you go to the hospital? I tell you what, when I know somebody is going to the hospital to have surgery, I always, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Dang. Um, someday I'm going to be really famous, and um, I'm going to have like a production crew that will be able to make me look better but if somebody i know is going to the other thing about having a dry paintbrush y'all you don't have to worry about splatters going everywhere and i really don't have to worry about painting his backside very much because the colors are very close okay so his body is all done and his hook is not. Now, y'all, they're both pretty. But I just love that intense color. And I have an idea for these guys, too, that I'll share with you later. Now, my pink one, oh, that's probably going to have to go into the kitchen for pot holders. Now, hold on one second, because I'm going to show you something. Okay, the screws for these owls, they come with little anchors and the screw, which is good because I wish y'all could see. These are made out of iron, y'all. They are really heavy. So, that's a long screw. Now, I could not put it like through uh duh through a cabinet door or anything like that because it would come right out on the other side not that i would want to but they are pretty long sturdy screws because of the weight of these guys so that's it y'all for this one i'm gonna finish painting him and like i said no eyes no beaks, no nothing. Now, I'm wondering, a lot of my little uh, oops containers are over at Maria's, and she started on her turtle already, and I'll show that to you when it's done. But um, if I don't have uh, an orangey, 
yellow, which I don't think I have because y'all know orange is not really my thing. Um, but red didn't used to be my thing either. And um, we might try a beak in that color. Now, if y'all are going to do something small, okay, something small, like the eyes, or a little beak, or the feet, which my owls have no feet. Notice that? There's no feet. Okay, so um, what you can do is, if you don't have paint in a little container, you can use spray paint, but you have to be ready. You mix it really, really good and then you want to use something like a puppy pad something that's absorbent and i would put it in the middle and then you can give it a couple of squirts out of your spray paint you want to do it outside where you're not going to get it on anything and then you can dip your little brush in there and use it for your small stuff so don't forget about that because you know if there's no oops paint, I'm not going to pay $15 for a quart of paint unless I was doing my house. And that's why, no matter why I go into Lowe's, no matter why I go into Home Depot, I go down there and I check the oops paint. So, this is so much fun, y'all. It is so easy and it's inexpensive if you um, do a little at a time to gather your supplies. Like I said, my brushes were like five dollars and so you maybe you could get your brushes and then later on you could get something else. Take advantage of your oops paint. Um, there's so many projects. If you had like, say, one of those, y'all remember those mugs? They may still have them at truck stops. The old restaurant mugs, they're really heavy and really thick. And they're not really white, but they are. You could paint some flowers on one of those and put a little plant in it or use it for a pencil holder. You could paint your tin cans. I've got some that I saved in my shed, if I can find them. So, there's so many things that y'all can do for little projects that are fun and they're inexpensive. If you don't have something that you want to paint on or whatever, go to a thrift store. You can get a mug or a cup or a plate for... 25 cents or a quarter and you can use clear stuff to paint on too so y'all do a project you can tell i'm a little excited i'm starting to get back into my projects i wet my yard back there by the um by the shed and i've got some loose dirt i'm going to try and even that all out because i want to get my blocks down before it starts raining this winter if it does, we're supposed to have rain on Thursday. I won't believe it till I see it. So y'all do something fun and send me an email and please send me a picture of you or, and your pets, your garden, your yard, uh, a room that you've redone, anything. Teresa, a.k.a. Taller, sends me pictures all the time. She's got the most beautiful salt and pepper hair. It's beautiful. It's so straight and smooth and it cups down around her face like this. It's gorgeous. She's got a killer car too. Pretty yard. I love it that I get to see those things. It makes me feel, I feel very close to Teresa. I could go out to Texas for a visit and her sisters too. She's got two sisters and it's amazing. So 
if you want to, my email is out there, and I'm going to put it in every description, if I can remember. So, anyway, by the time you see this video, I might have some emails from y'all. D J Dits 54 at gmail.com. Talk to y'all later. Do something fun today and share it. Bye now.